I'm fine. I have rhinestones under my eyeballs to represent teardrops because sad girl at heart. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Lacey Jane. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you came here for a chaotic video that hopefully has a message, this is for you. I actually have like nothing prepared for this video. It's just something that's kind of been like on my brain here lately, which is how all of my messages come out. But I actually wanted to talk about the shadow self today hence the tears. So the reason that I actually wanted to come on and talk about the shadow self actually backtrack. I have like four other videos that I like things that I was actually going to talk about. And then like last minute, you know, I was going through my feels this morning. It's been something that's just been like about the back of my mind. Like I've been thinking about my shadow self and how it almost feels like I'm not allowed to embrace it. Like I feel like I constantly have to show up online as someone that is just like love and light and like happiness and bubbly and granted like I am a lot of those things but I almost feel like I'm not allowed to show up if I'm showing up with my shadow self if I'm showing up with depression if I'm showing up just a little bit heavier and social media has kind of like created this space for us I feel like it's where it seems like everyone is just doing great and Sometimes I get on and I'm like, man, I am not doing great. It almost seems like taboo, like that's something that I'm just like, it's like an unspoken rule that I'm just like not allowed to show up like that. And it got me thinking like, why is that a thing? Like, why does it feel like I can't embrace who I actually am? Because who I actually am is filled with a lot of heaviness and darkness and trauma and just a, just a lot of shadow. I have a lot of shadow within me. And I started thinking about this and I'm like, damn, like we all have the shadow self. We all have a dark side and we have a light side. And we can't have this light side without this dark side. And we can't have this dark side without this light side. It's almost like the yin and the yang. Like we have to have one to also have the other and vice versa. We also have part of our shadow inside of our light and part of our light inside of our shadow because it's all one. It's all the same. It's all together. But I've just been thinking that it just seems like the world wants us to be so black and white. Like it wants us to be one side or the other side. And we can't just be both because I so often in both and I feel like I go through the day just like varying like I go and I'll wake up and I'll, I'll feel good and then like something will happen and then I'll feel depressed or vice versa I'll wake up just incredibly depressed and I don't really know why and I can't explain it and it feels almost like in the spiritual community especially like you have to be love and light like you can't struggle with these human emotions like depression and anxiety and that stresses me out a little bit because sometimes it makes me feel like I'm not like I'm doing something wrong like am I not being included like is there something that I'm missing out on because I experience all of it and I got to thinking like you know we have to have these ups and these downs in life because that's exactly what energy does like we have to have the flow of energy because your light is obviously going to be on a higher vibration and your dark is obviously going to be in a lower vibration but neither one of them is good or bad you see neither one of them defines you as a good person or a bad person or you're doing good in life because you're love and light or you're doing bad in life because you're depressed and granted it's not great to be depressed all the time but it ebbs and flows. And I don't feel like we should be defining ourselves by I need to be one way because my shadow self isn't accepted. Because when we don't accept our shadow self, we don't actually accept ourselves, accept us for who we are. And that's a huge lesson that I'm trying to learn here lately is that it's okay for me to have this darkness within me. It's okay to also be this person. I don't have to just be the same person 24 seven. And I've tried to really just welcome my shadow self into my life without 
having judgment because the fact of the matter is that we have to learn how to coexist with our shadow self, learn how our shadow self actually makes us a better person because think about your life right now. Like think about if you were to live in light all the time, if you were just happy and like nothing went wrong all the time, you would never learn anything. You would never grow. And you know, it's always going to go up and down, but in that down moment is really when you're going to be learning the most about yourself. And you can't learn anything if you're living in a perfect world. And I wish that more people would talk about that and more people would be open about that because I feel like sometimes I'm like, damn, like, man, everybody is having a really great day, but am I the only one that's having an entirely rough life? <laughs> And before I started filming this video, I was doing my makeup and I was like thinking, and this is so random that this popped in my head, but I was thinking about the video and I was like reminded of the movie Pleasantville. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that with uh, Reese Witherspoon and Tobey Maguire. Um, and it's actually a pretty good movie, but it's about basically this society this alternate universe kind of where everything that they live in is in black and white and everything is just absolutely perfect for them. They have no worries. Um, they don't have depression. Just like it's like every single day is the same. Um, and eventually like these, these teenagers come into the town and they start causing chaos. Basically they start causing chaos and disrupting and things start to come into color for the rest of the town. They start to see color for the first time. And I noticed that the people that had been living in the town their entire life, they noticed this color happening. They noticed things being disrupted, things that weren't always, the things that were always the same were suddenly different. And that scared them. And that made them fearful for what their life was going to be like and what their town was going to be like and what the world was going to look like because suddenly things are different. And that aspect of them is them reacting with their shadow self. The thing is, is that in this particular movie, like everything ended up working out in the end, which was great. You know, the whole world was in color and people were, were doing things and, and being their shadow selves and embracing it. But they had to have that moment where their shadow self was fearful and they were rejecting themselves and they were rejecting the change in order for them to live in color, in order for them to live in this love and this light in this world where the shadow self and the love and light coexisted together. And I don't know why that is the meaning that I kind of got from this, but that's kind of an interpretation. I actually haven't watched that movie for probably a month and a, I watched it like a month and a half ago probably, but it's just something that randomly popped into my head and I was like, wow, you know, that's a really great example of how your shadow self can coexist with the love and light. And one thing that I really, really think that we should do is just start embracing that part of ourself, the parts of ourselves that are really, really hard to look at and really, really hard to love. Because when I'm going through the pits of depression, I find it incredibly difficult for me to really truly love myself through that. But that's something that I'm trying to incorporate is saying, okay, so this is my shadow. I get angry. I get jealous. I get depressed. I have anxiety. I'm a normal human being experiencing normal human emotions and it's okay. And I'm going to welcome my shadow self here because in order for me to learn things in order for me to experience that love and that light, I have to embrace this shadow right now. And I really believe that when we start to actually look at ourselves, our whole selves, the yin and the yang, the shadow and the light, when we start to coexist together with that is when we actually have a form of actual self love. Because when you can love the hardest parts of you, you can love all of you. And it's incredibly unfair to yourself to say, I'm only going to love and appreciate myself when I'm doing good. I'm only going to love and appreciate myself when I'm feeling great. Because how do you think that makes your shadow self feel? That makes your shadow self feel like they have to hide and they can't be themselves and they can't experience emotions and they have to repress. You should never repress pieces of you. And that has who really been on my heart here today is that the shadow self within us 
just wants to be loved, just wants to be acknowledged, just wants to say, you know what, I accept you for who you are. I accept you for these things that you feel. I accept you for just trying to get through. I'm gonna take my love and my light and I'm gonna love you a little bit more through this hard time. You're gonna have resistance at first because that's all your shadow self knows as you pushing away those pieces of yourself. But it is um, really great when you start to accept it and say, you know what, I accept myself for who I am. And that takes away the resistance, that takes away the power that your ego kind of has over you. But that is my message for you guys. I hope that you guys come back and see me again next week. Comment below if there's anything that your heart is feeling that it needs to say. If there's um, something about your shadow that you wanna share, just let me know in the comments and like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys again next week. Stay cool, cause it's hot as hail. I love you, bye.